Okay, so the strut is out. Now we're gonna disassemble it. First of all, we got this uh, reinforcement plate. Set that aside. Pop this dust cover. And inside we have this uh, top nut. So the spring is still under tension, so I'm going to put my uh, spring compressors on now, just to compress a little more so it doesn't, so this thing doesn't shoot out when I undo this nut. I'm actually going to move it ever so slightly now, but I'm not going to undo it completely. Okay, let's see if this uh, strut still has any life left after 97,000 miles. Look, see it's actually stuck down there. Look, one finger. Yep, so that confirms it. <laughs> This is garbage. Okay, so the next step for me is going to be to uh, clean up this housing a little bit. I'm going to uh, take wire brush to the rust spots and then I'm going to spray some rust converter on it. And once that is done, I am going to follow Coney's directions. I'm gonna punch a hole through the middle of here to let the remain remainder of gas out and then I'm gonna use just a drill to drill a hole here and that hole is gonna accommodate uh, I guess you can call it a stud and a nut that comes with a new strut and that's gonna fix that strut in place here. But before I can accomplish that I will have to use a cutoff wheel or some kind of a saw uh, to take off the top here and gut this housing. So that should allow the new strut to slide right in. I mean, I've heard that uh, the welds on the new struts and on, on the conies might be a little too big, so you might have to grind them down. But uh, let's see uh, what happens in my case here. Okay, so I use some exa not exactly precise methods uh, to find the center of the shaft, but I did. And before I drill a hole, I just want to show you how bad this uh, chuck actually is. Uh, this is, I mean, this thing is probably original, so 96,000 miles on it. See, it doesn't even rebound on its own.
So like I said, to do this properly you have to pull out the shaft and with any luck there's not going to be any uh, excess uh, spray of fluid but I am going to get some rags here. Okay, so, not the greatest cut, but it will do. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you're gonna see why. Because uh, the actual insert is gonna go here, and then there's gonna be a rubber boot that covers uh, the whole deal. And uh, the shock insert itself, it kind of bottoms out. And at that point, you would use a screw that was provided and uh, attach it to the housing that way. It is a snug fit, so I'm probably going to have to grind down the insert itself as well, just like I did on the other side. Uh, but before that, I'm just going to file down all this extra junk here, just to make sure that uh, there are no snags.